For such a small laptop, it's pretty impressive that the X220 can take a second storage device. Today I'm going to show you how to put one in. First, get your SSD out of the box and make sure it's ready to be installed. Then turn the laptop over, press on the small catches towards the back and push the battery backwards to remove it. Set it aside for now. Next, remove the screw from the small hole at the front of the computer. You also need to take out the other deep screw, slightly behind and to the left of it. Once they've been unscrewed, turn the laptop back over and open it up. Next, push the keyboard away from you to release the latches at the front of the laptop, and then pull it back to release the latches near the screen. This may take a few tries, but be patient and don't break anything. Once the keyboard pops up, you can pull it up, but careful not to go too far. There's a cable connecting the keyboard to the laptop's motherboard. Use a spudger or the edge of a credit card to pop the cable up off of the connector, and then lift the keyboard away. Now, shut the laptop and turn it back over. You're gonna have to take out a few more screws on the bottom. These five screws are the ones you will need to take out in order to continue the next step. Once you've unscrewed them, turn the laptop back over and open it up again. Notice this small blue connector near where the keyboard connector was before. Lift up on the small black piece at the front so that the cable is freed. Then, use the blue plastic tab on the cable to pull it out and out of the connector horizontally. The palm rest should now be able to come off of the laptop, but be patient as it may be snapped down in some places. Again, just be careful and eventually it should come off. Since you already disconnected the cable and shouldn't need to worry about it, you should now just be able to pick the palm rest up and lift it away. You should now see the empty mounting space to the right and towards the front of the computer. Before you can install your SSD though, you're going to need to lift up on the black cable going into the wireless card and pop it up. Then, lift the entire blue wire, including the black cable, away from the slot. It might be taped down, if it is, don't worry about it. Just pull it out of the small routing tab so that you can move it away from the slot and make room for you to install the card. Before you can install your SSD, there's one final step. Remove the screw already installed in the slot. You'll use this screw to hold the SSD in place later. Now, put your SSD in as shown here at a 45 degree angle, or slightly less. Then, use your finger to push down on the end of the SSD. Make sure that the peg goes through the small hole next to the screw. Get the screw from earlier onto the screwdriver, and put it into the hole where the screw was before. Put it through the hole in the SSD. If your SSD has to fall onto the peg, don't worry, just make sure that it does. You'll now want to put the cable from before back in place and make sure it's padded down properly. Take the small golden connector that connects to your wireless card and line it up carefully over the hole. This step can be a little tricky, but if it's lined up correctly with the hole, you should be able to press down slightly hard on it to pop it into the socket. Now, put your palm rest slightly closer to the screen than it needs to be, push it down and pull it towards you. It should snap in at the front, and then you can snap it down at the sides. Use the blue plastic piece to push the connector back into the socket and snap the black piece down on top of it to hold it in place. Turn the laptop back over and put the five palm rest screws back in. Turn the laptop back over and set the keyboard on the palm rest. Push the keyboard connector down into the socket, like you did with the wireless card connector before. Now, lift the keyboard up and push it in at the top. Pivot it down and then pull it towards you to lock it in place at the bottom. Once again, turn the laptop over. Now, you can put the two keyboard screws in the deeper holes you took out at the beginning back in. Now, all that's left to do is to line the battery up with its hole and push it forward. The catches will lock automatically. Now, just turn the laptop on and make sure everything you did works.